Hey everyone, Hank with Outer Rim Travels here. In this video, we will mostly explore Fort Wilderness Resort and Campgrounds and grab a bite to eat at the Festival of the Arts at Epcot. I wanted to show you what it looks like when you pull up to the reception outpost. Check out all the golf carts on the right. We had Loop 2700 at Heron Hollow. And as you pull in, you're gonna notice it's one way. So you're gonna pull in this way and to exit the loop, you've gotta go all the way around. So we were the third cabin on the right. That's 2705. I've booked so many guests over the years in the cabins and just haven't had a chance to stay there myself. So I wanted to do this before they get refurbished and switched out. Let's jump right in and start with our quick cabin tour. As you walk in, You've got a little dining area here on the right. Nice big chair over here and a giant flat screen TV. That couch is a sleeper sofa. Over here in the kitchen, you've got your dishwasher, a little toaster, coffee maker, a couple of countertop burners and a microwave and a full size fridge as well. Let's head over to the bathroom. There you go, your sink, toilet, nice shower, complete with shower curtain and hidden Mickey. Here in the main bedroom, you've got a queen size bed and bunk bed for the kiddos or that brave adult that doesn't mind climbing up there. Another flat screen TV for you in the bedroom. There you have it. Super nice space and really, really comfy. Welcome to my little cabin here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. So far, so good, loving it. I've taken the golf cart around a few times, tons of fun. And I've got my trusty map. So we're gonna go for a spin. I've never gone around the entire property, so probably get lost, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna be fun. I've really enjoyed just the vibe of this. I mean, years ago, what was it, 2019, for the pass holder preview of Galaxy's Edge, we stayed at the tree house over at Saratoga Springs and kind of, you know, the same feel. Really homey, really nice. I can see now why my folks come back, you know, year after year to stay here in these little cabins. So super curious to see what the new version will be like. And maybe we'll, you know, stay a night or two once those switch over in July. All right, so let's head over to the golf cart and take a spin around the property. Come on, let's go. Don't worry, I am not driving and filming. I've got this nifty little contraption that allows me to pop the iPhone on there for some cool POV footage. Let's drive around and see what we find. Come on. As I mentioned before, you do drive all the way around the loop to exit because it is one way. It's not like it's massive or anything. And here you've got the bus stop. So I did take the bus over to the outpost to rent the golf cart. These are the little pathways that are dedicated just for golf carts. And you're gonna see it's got its own parking and everything. If you want to come visit hoop de doo Review, you park at the entrance and take the bus over or you can take the boats, but no parking lot on this side. It's exclusively golf carts. So let's pull in over here. And here we are. This is the main settlement area, which has Pioneer Hall over here. That's where you're gonna come for the hoop de doo review in this building. And then right next to it is Trails End, which is the restaurant, and they've got Crockett's Tavern. Okay, so I'm back in my cabin and actually didn't get lost. I took Fort Wilderness Trail straight down, which leads you to this little area where only the golf carts can enter. That takes you to Pioneer Hall and Trails and Restaurant. So super simple, grab a chicken biscuit that looked just too delicious to pass up. I mean, today we're gonna be eating at the Festival of the Arts, so don't wanna eat too much, but grab some juice and a bagel and stuff and you know, then made my way back. What I will say 
is the golf cart travels at about 18-ish miles an hour, and that feels super slow, but it forces you to you know, chill out a little bit and to relax and enjoy your surroundings, you know, so you're not in a hurry. If there's a car behind me, I feel like, oh, I'm, you know, slowing them down, but there's little areas where you can, you know, pull off and let the car behind you pass. So, I mean, super fun, not too bad at all. Now, I'm gonna have a quick breakfast before hopping over to Epcot. Okay, we've got our festival passport and we're heading in to try some of the foods. I definitely want that Encanto empanada. I've had it before, <laughs> I love it. Let's head on in. Okay, annual pass holder magnet acquired and now heading into World Showcase to try some of the foods. So, hasn't been very long since we entered and I did have breakfast, but I am already hungry. Can you imagine just thinking about that empanada and the stuff in Japan, the sushi donuts and the bao bun. Mm, yum, all right, heading on in. We kicked things off in Canada this time around. We had a very specific list of things that we wanted to try on this trip. And that wild mushroom risotto was one of those. From there, we walked over to France. Mama Otero wanted to try the puff pastry with salmon and spinach. She said it was delicious. Next up was my pick, so we wandered over to the Encanto Cocina. Look how pretty everything was decorated there. Had to have that chorizo and potato empanada. It did not disappoint. Okay, here we go. We got it actually without the sauce because the sauce makes a little bit of a mess, but the sauce is delicious. I just kind of wanted to try it without the sauce. Mm. Yeah, love it, still love it. You'll see some more art in a minute, but there's Mirabelle. It was time to visit Japan. And the food here is always a favorite of ours. That Wagyu bun was phenomenal. I didn't try the sushi donut this time. Usually take the shrimp off and have the other half, but I skipped it this time. If you plan to attend the festival this year, keep an eye out for the chalk drawings around the different pavilions. So here you've got Luca with Alberto, and hidden in the corner, Machiavelli. Another little detail I love is the miniature train over at the Germany Pavilion. Every festival, they switch out the little flags in the town. So if you zoom in, there you go. Festival of the Arts. How cool is that? Check out some of this artwork. So colorful, so beautiful. Hey, Mushu, there's Figment. Isn't that pretty? Of course, Star Wars is everywhere, as is Mickey. Look at that Darth Vader, how awesome. Grogu. And on my way out, I happened to catch this painting of Mickey and Minnie at the Eiffel Tower. Paris is calling me. So that does it for our day at Epcot. It was a quick one, but we will be back next week for my birthday. Gonna try some different foods here at the Festival of the Arts and lots more content coming. So but thank you so much for tuning in. Heading back to the cabin, finish up a few things and then driving back to Miami tomorrow. So let's get going, come on. And here's part two of our tour of Fort Wilderness. Just parked the golf cart over by Pioneer Hall, and we're gonna walk over to the little marina area where you can rent boats, fish, and take the boat launches out to Magic Kingdom. So let's check that out, come on. Here you go, Fort Marina, recreation and boat rentals. Got a little beach off on this side. And check out the map, 750 acres. 
It's a huge property. This is the marina. There's the boat that'll take you over to the Magic Kingdom. Off on this side, you've got boats that you can rent and take out for fishing and that kind of thing. As we head back toward the golf cart, you've got the playground for the kids. Lots of slides and swings. Really fun area for kids to play at. Let's try and get some footage inside Pioneer Hall. See what we can shoot if there's not too many folks around. I promise I was not on some kind of scavenger hunt. Just hidden Mickey's everywhere. Here's a quick look at Trails End Restaurant and Crockett's Tavern, which was closed because it was too early in the morning. And over in the quick service section, just had to show you my chicken biscuit. It was delicious. All the breakfast food you can think of. There's the resort refillable mugs. Okay, let's head back to the cabin on the golf cart. This is me, 4143. Gotta have the map, you know, to guide me. See down here. That's it, we're on. Let's go. I really had so much fun driving the little golf cart around the property. I've promised myself that the next visit, I will explore a little more, including the shops and certain areas that I didn't get to this time around. I just felt like really pressed for time, but next time for sure. Hey, there's another golf cart. Hey. So, so fun. And I grew really attached to the golf cart, but time to say goodbye. And then you just pull up to the main outpost, and drop off your golf cart, and that's it. Piece of cake. So, that does it for another amazing time here at Walt Disney World. I cannot believe how quickly our time at Four Wilderness Campgrounds just came and went, you know, like that. Super, super nice, our time here at the cabins. And now I think I've got a new favorite. So I'm definitely planning to stay a little later in the year when the cabins are refurbished and we get the new version. I hope to you know, come with some more of the family and the golf cart is a must. So, so fun. And just, I mean, such a different experience. You know, every time you come to Walt Disney World, it just feels a little different. This is completely unique and so, so cool. As you're driving along in your golf cart, folks are waving at you and really, really nice experience. So this makes me even more excited for my stay just one week over at Wilderness Lodge. That's gonna be different, you know, no golf carts, but I've got so many cool things planned for my birthday celebration including we're attending a little workshop for the silver earmarked folks not sure what i can or can't share but that's going to be part of you know next week's vacation so hope you all enjoyed this video i definitely enjoyed shooting it and putting it together it's been just a lot of fun actually more fun than i was expecting to have here at the cabins and the little foods and things we ate at the festival of the arts we will be trying some new stuff next week at epcot festival of the arts that's all for now thank you as always for watching and for subscribing i always love the comments over there at youtube and i try my best to you know reply to everyone so thanks again for all your support and for watching and i will catch you on the next one till then have an out of this world day take care everybody Bye-bye. Oh yeah, one last thing. 
to the right of the cabin, you've got an outlet right there to charge your golf cart overnight. Sweet. <laughs>